An investor hires rideshare drivers to scout for new properties. A family blames Uber after their daughter rides alone to her suicide. And a Lyft driver wins $1 million! Woo! It's this week in rideshare news. Our first story today is pretty unconventional. A home flipper hires rideshare drivers to help him scout for new properties in the DC area. Daniel DiGiacobo hired over 150 rideshare drivers because obviously they're the ones that are on the streets to help him scout for new properties. He's offered from what I understand $500 per referral um, and it's actually working out pretty well for him and the drivers in the area. With returns on investments for house flipping declining, I do hope that more investors hire people like you guys to help them find properties to rehab and to pay you for your time and your knowledge and expertise. If you'd like to read this article, the link is in the description. A family blames Uber after their daughter rides alone to her suicide. A 12 year old girl ordered an Uber after her parents fell asleep paid for it with her Christmas gift card money. The Uber driver picked her up and took her to a secluded location, a parking structure where she ended her life. Her parents say, and I quote, that day, if the Uber driver had done his job right, we would have seen the red flag because I always knew where my daughter was. Everyone should know both Uber and Lyft have policies against this. As a driver partner, you should decline a ride request if you receive one from someone under uh, 18 years old. Uh, when picking up riders, if you feel they're underage, you may request their driver's license or ID card. And if the rider is underage, do not start the trip or allow them to ride. Apparently, this Uber driver did pick this young lady up at night and took her to this location. As far as the terms of service goes, he should not have done that. To blame Uber for her suicide? I'm not really sure how I feel about that, guys. Uh, when she said she always knew where her daughter was, in this case, she didn't know. Um, you know, when people are dealing with depression and have suicidal thoughts, a lot of times people don't know until it's too late. But I think we can learn something from this. You don't necessarily know where a child may be headed. There is no way that I would possibly take a little girl to a secluded location, a 12 year old child to a secluded location at night without asking, where is your, where are your parents? Where are you going? I need to talk to somebody. I would not start the trip. I'd be super pressed to be like, okay, so what's going on? I might call the police just to make sure that everything is okay. And being a mother, I would hope that somebody would do that if one of my kids did the same thing. What are your thoughts? Yes, I'm sharing how I feel about this. What are your thoughts in the comments? So Lyft is partnering with the National Center for Transgender Equality. I think it's cool that Lyft is giving their trans passengers the opportunity to denote which pronouns they would prefer to answer to. And a sampling of that would be them, they, theirs, she, her, hers, and he, him, his. In a world where everybody is different and everybody deserves respect, I stand behind this and I have definitely needed help at times to know which pronoun to use. Just putting it out there and I appreciate Lyft for doing this. Um, the National Center for Transgender Equality have also offered uh, instructions on how to do this. They're also offering assistance on how you can change your name and gender designation on your driver's license. For more information, see the link in the description. Starting this week, Lyft is offering language courses via the popular app Duolingo. Drivers in Seattle, Houston, Chicago, Miami, New York City, and New Jersey will be able to sign up through the Lyft driver app for a free version of this, uh, they, and they will have access to over 80 courses in more than 30 languages. After you complete the English Duolingo course, you will receive a digital certification, and that will be proof of proficiency, which is accepted at over 500 universities. Yes, I am reading this off of this because I want to make sure that I have the right information. Also, you folks in Seattle, Houston, and Chicago will be able to sign up for National Immigration Forms in-person and online class program called Skills and Opportunities for the New American Workforce. It's a six-week program to learn English. Very, very <laughs> aggressive, right? And uh, those who go to that course will be able to receive awarded certificates of completion. To qualify for this, all you need to do is have completed 30 rides in the past 30 days. 
That is amazing. If you do not know how to speak English or you want to perfect your English speaking or learn how to speak another language and you're a Lyft driver, this is something that I advise you to take advantage of because we are a global economy and knowing another language can only enhance your life and broaden your perspective. The Minnesota Lottery announced the $1 million winner of the Mega Millions ticket is Kajo Awano, a Lyft driver in Eden Prairie, Minnesota. So yeah, <laughs> yes, 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 I think this is so cool. Driver says he's been praying for more money because he wanted to donate to a charity. He says he plans to use his prize money for a charity called the Ebenezer Charity Foundation which is located in Coon Rapids. They provide sustainable access for clean water for people living in Africa. What an awesome thing. If you won a million dollars, what would you do? And now my favorite part of this show, what would you do? I got this one from a forum and I don't have permission to share uh, the actual screenshot, sorry guys, but I can describe it very well. A guy received this automated email <laughs> from Lyft. Oops. Mark left this in your car, colon. I lost an ounce of weed in your car. Call them directly at blah, blah, blah. After you meet, you can request a return free from the Lyft driver help menu in your driver ride history. What would you do if a passenger left an ounce of weed in your car? Okay, weed's legal in LA, so it's not... I would, I'd give it back. I'd give him his weed back. I just would. Like, if you're really contacting me for your weed, I'm, I would give you your weed back. I would meet you in a public place. Um, and I would definitely want my fee, but I, I think I'd give you back your weed. I don't know what you're going through. I don't, whatever you need this weed for, you're going to, you're going to be able to do just that with this weed. Let me know in the comments what you would do. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to this channel, The Rideshare Guy, Harry has news and tips and lots of resources for rideshare and gig economy. Subscribe right now. And if you're curious about who I am and what I do, my name is Cecily and I have a channel called Drive Girl Drive. You can hit me up on YouTube and Facebook. My links are in the description as well. And as always, safe driving and I hope to see you guys again soon. If you guys have any tips, let me know. Hit me up. Would love to hear from you. Bye.